A very good morning boys and girls, Reverend Victor here in the grounds of Clonina Monastery uh, in Mount Rath, County Leash, not too far from the school for this morning's assembly. Now don't worry, I haven't gone beyond the five kilometre uh, distance rule from the door of the rectory right here to the grounds of the monastery is a little over four kilometres. So I'm well within the distance, so don't worry about that guys. Anyhow, boys and girls, this morning's assembly is about pilgrimage and that's why I've come to this beautiful holy place to talk to you this morning. But first of all, just to say a few words about where I am. And I mentioned Clonina Monastery. Now, does that ring a bell with any of you? Clonina Monastery, Clonina Parish, Clonina National School. Well done. This area is called Clonina. And in ancient times, it would have been known by the Irish uh, form Clun Aidnach. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And that means the meadow of the ivy. So right here uh, in Clanina is where this monastery was built. And that's why it's called Clanina Monastery. It's often called after the uh, man who built it, who was... I'll give you a second to try and guess. Do you know who built Clanina Monastery? Saint Fintan. Did any of you say Saint Fintan? Well, sometimes this is called Saint Fintan's Monastery or Clonina Monastery, and Saint Fintan is the man who built it. Now, Saint Fintan was born in the year 524. Can you believe that? That's almost exactly one and a half thousand years ago. One and a half thousand years ago that Saint Fintan was born. And as he grew older, he wanted to devote his life to God. And in ancient times, people who devoted their entire lives to God were called monks. And uh, Saint Fintan was a monk and he wanted to establish a, a, a monastery. I'm not sure, boys and girls, if you know what a monastery is, but a monastery is where a group of monks live and they live together in community. And that means that they would each have a little house, what was called a cell, and they would live together here in this place, and they would work together, they would farm together, and they would pray together, and they would come together in their church. I'll move a bit closer in a few minutes just to let you have a look inside, but that was the church that they built. Now, the reason St. Fintan chose this particular part of Ireland was he, he travelled around and he looked at many, many sites where he would build his monastery to God. And he thought this was a beautiful place. But there was another important reason why St. Fintan chose this site for his monastery. And that is because it's very close to a main road. Now, not the road that exists there today. We have the M7 motorway on one side and the old main Dublin road, uh, Dublin Limerick road, just here. So it's a lot noisier today than it was in St. Fintan's time. But there was another ancient road that existed here and it would be nothing like the roads that we have today. It wasn't a big wide stretch of tarmac road. It would have been just narrow enough for a horse and car to pass along. And it began in Tara. Now, do any of you know where Tara is? Tara is in County Meath. Did any of you guess County Meath? Well done if you did. And Tara was important in ancient Ireland because it was the seat. It was the seat of the High King, the ancient kings of Ireland. And so Tara was a very important place in ancient times. And there was a road running from Tara right away across Ireland from County Meath down here to County Leash and then onwards to County Limerick and it was called the Schlee Dala. Have you ever heard of that before? Dala's Way. And that began in Tara in County Meath and ran all the way across. And the road that exists there today uh, almost follows exactly the route of the Schlee Dala. So you can see why St. Fintan chose to have his monastery so close to the Schlee Dala. And that's because people would be making their way from Tara, they would be making their way across Ireland and they would come past his monastery. And he wanted his monastery to be a place where people could come and worship God. And so people who were passing by were able to stop at the monastery here and they could stay overnight. The monks were always very kind to people 
who were traveling they would provide them with food and lodgings overnight and so this was a very very important and busy place many many centuries ago and it was particularly important for pilgrims and that's the theme of our assembly today now i'll just move over a bit closer to the monastery and talk a bit more about pilgrims and pilgrimage now guys there's a view inside the uh, church of saint fintan all that's left of saint fintan's monastery of clonina monastery here in mount rath now it doesn't look very big and you're right if you think that it's not very big but uh, it wasn't built to be huge it was just built uh, f for the monks a summer where they could come together and pray now people who visited would be able to stay in a spare cell uh, which is basically just a room and they could sleep overnight as they made their way across ireland or if they made their way from tara down to limerick or to kilkenny or wherever they were traveling and they would come here and they would stay with the monks and they would be able to spend the night and they would also be able to spend time in prayer now the word pilgrim comes to us from the latin language this is very very old world and it old word and it means foreigner so there you are so that's what the word pilgrim means and a pilgrim travels from place to place visiting holy sites places to pray and to worship the lord now guys as i mentioned people would come to this place um, if they were traveling across ireland but some people came specifically because it was where saint fintan was and his name and his fame spread across ireland people were anxious to meet him to talk to him to pray with him and this is why clonina monastery became a place of pilgrimage now in ancient times you had to be very very wealthy to own a horse or a donkey so most people traveled on foot and they walked everywhere so it take days and days to cross ireland so there'd be lots of places where people could stay on the route of the Schlidala and the other main roads in Ireland at, at the time. But this one was particularly important because it was uh, on the way from Tara to Limerick and to Kilkenny, uh, ancient important sites and still very important cities and places uh, today. But as I say, one of the other reasons that people would have been anxious to visit here is because of St. Fintan and his reputation for kindness, his reputation for healing, his re reputation as a great preacher, that is someone who speaks about the scriptures. And so for all of these reasons, people wanted to journey here and they would have been called pilgrims. Now in ancient times, pilgrimage was very, very important for people for a number of reasons. And one of the main reasons was as a form of penance. Do you know what penance means? Have you ever heard the word penitential or penitent? Okay, well done if you have. Uh, so if you've guessed it, well done. So basically penance means being sorry for our sins and doing something to say to God that we're sorry for having done wrong. Now, when we sin, when we do something wrong, we turn to God in prayer and we ask his forgiveness. But penance is a means of doing something to show God uh, how really, really sorry we are. And in ancient times, one of the ways that people showed God that they were sorry for something they'd done wrong, for something they'd said wrong, maybe for example they might have stolen something they might have spoken ill of someone and they ask god for forgiveness and god forgives our sins when we turn to him in prayer but to show god how sorry they were they would maybe go on a pilgrim journey and as i mentioned that you'd have to be very very wealthy to have a horse or a donkey so it would take you absolutely days to cross ireland to walk everywhere and so by walking and by getting your feet very very sore and all of that walking was a way of showing god how sorry you were and some people wanted to journey particularly far and so one of the most famous places of pilgrimage in ancient times was the city of jerusalem and that's over in israel so you can imagine in ancient times having to travel all the way from ireland or england over to jerusalem it would take months upon months 
and it was a very very popular place of pilgrimage but not everyone could spare the time to do that or, or felt brave enough to do it because it's dangerous or it was dangerous I should say in ancient times having to travel all that distance across all those different countries you could be robbed or mugged on the way so not everyone would journey to Jerusalem so that's why pilgrim sites sprung up across Ireland and this is still uh, an ancient site and for some still today a place of pilgrimage here in Clonina. Now I'm just going to show you something else before we finish up and that is St Fintan's Tree. Well guys here I am beside St Fintan's Tree beside the Schlidala or what's left of the Schlidala the ancient road from Tara to Kilkenny and Limerick. Now this tree was planted about 250 years ago and as you can see it's covered in lots and lots of pieces of string. Now there's an ancient Irish tradition that when you visit a holy site or a holy well, St Fintan's well is nearby uh, and the monastery is just behind us there, Clonina Monastery, St Fintan's Monastery. But an ancient Irish tradition was that when you came somewhere to pray you br brought a piece of cloth and basically if you were praying for healing that as the piece of cloth began to rot on the tree so your illness uh, began to fade away as well and eventually when the uh, piece of string or piece of cloth completely rotted completely disappeared your prayer was answered or you were cured and that's why even still today as i mentioned people still visit this site and visit the uh, St Fintan's tree here and place these pieces of cloth on the tree. So we'll finish our assembly boys and girls, we'll pray together. We'll, first of all we'll pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed our assembly this morning. Have a very good week and see you again soon. God bless you all. Bye bye.